Imagine you are working in an organization where you are using Azure Databricks or Databricks to analyze the data, to store the data, or maybe you are creating your lake house or data warehouse in Azure Databricks. Then how can you connect Microsoft Power BI with Azure Databricks? Well, if you have the same question, then in this video, I'm going to let you know how to do that. Not only that, I'm going to also let you know what are the prerequisites for that. So if you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. My name is Ajay Kumar and I create all the contents on Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure. So if you would like to learn more, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. If you are new to Azure Data Breaks, then we have already created one tutorial for you. So please don't forget to find the link in the description section and start watching that now. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. If you would like to connect Microsoft Power BI with Azure Databricks or Databricks to create your reports and dashboards, then first of all, you should have your one Azure Databricks workspace where you should have one cluster up and running. You should also have your data inside there in order to get the data to Power BI. Once you have everything in place, then you have to come to your Azure portal, that is portal.azure.com. Over there, you have to go to your Azure Databricks workspace. For example, I have this Azure Databricks over here. I can go directly from here. Otherwise, I can simply click on this Azure Databricks workspace. Once you are inside this workspace, you have to simply launch this workspace. So click on this launch workspace. Alternatively, you can also use a URL to launch your workspace. So what we are going to do, we are going to launch from here. So if you are coming over here for the very first time, I request you to please launch your workspace from this launch workspace button. As soon as you are going to launch, it's going to authenticate you. You may need to provide your credentials over there. So please do provide your organization credentials. Once you provide it, then you would see similar to this page. Now, what you have to do, you have to come on your left hand side panel and here you would find this compute button. So click on this button over here. You are going to find your up and running cluster. That would be your cluster in Azure Databricks. So please click on this cluster. Once you click on that, you have to come down and here you have to click on this advanced option. So this is where you will find your credentials to connect Microsoft Power BI with Azure Databricks. So what you have to do, you have to come under this JDBC or ODBC and here you would find first your server host name, please note it down. Then you have to also get your protocol over here. We are using HTTPS. So we have to connect with HTTP path. Please copy this HTTP path from here. If you would like to also connect Microsoft Power BI directly with Azure Databricks without copying this, then what you can do, you can come again on your left hand side panel and at the bottom second last you would find this partners connect. So please click on this here. You can search for Microsoft Power BI, which is over here and you can directly download this connection file from here. This would have everything. So once you are going to open it, it may ask you to authenticate yourself and then you can connect with that. Now I'm going to go back to my Microsoft Power BI desktop app. So here I'm on my Microsoft Power BI desktop app. So let's go to get data. Now I can go simply to Azure and here I can find the Azure Databricks. So here is your Azure Databricks. Please click on connect. Here I have to provide my server host name. As I discussed, you need to provide your server host name and then HTTP path. So let me quickly paste it over there. Rest of the information is optional. Now I can simply click on this OK button. Over here, you would get the different options to sign in. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use Azure Active Directory and here I'm going to sign in. I hope this video is going to be very helpful for you for creating your Microsoft Power BI reports and dashboards with the help of Azure Databricks. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos. See you in the next video.